First, um, there must be a way, in my mind, to expand the trail network without damaging the integrity of the reservoir's water system. Second, it seems to me that Baltimore City is missing an opportunity to engage the mountain biking community, which, as we can see today, has the volunteer and financial capacity to improve the reservoir. And thirdly, at a time when the city is garnering some press relating to water bills, uh, it seems to me this is an opportunity to make a positive difference for the thousands of Baltimore Countyans that value the Lock Redding Reservoir. I think that we need to spend more time and energy uh, convincing the mayor and the city council member and the city council president uh, that this is something that we'd like to see happen for our, not only our county residents, but residents throughout the state of Maryland. Um, and I think seeing such a great turnout for this today really does demonstrate a very clear demand by uh, Baltimore County residents that we need to do more for walking and biking trails. It's real, the time is now, and I look forward to working with everybody to make sure we can continue along that time. It is an honor to be here, and I can tell you, 10 years in the Senate, uh, I tried to keep my nose out of the council's business, but uh, I never testified before, but this is important. Uh, I thank Councilman Barnes for putting it in. I'm here today to advocate for the mountain bikers and for them to be able to ride their bikes in Lock Raven Reservoir in peace once and for all. And <laughs> bikers do, the impact on the water quality of Lock Raven Reservoir is negligible. We're talking about single track trails. I've been down there a number of times, probably hiked more than I ever imagined I would hike in the reservoir. And I can tell you that you could take a yardstick and put it across where their trails are and you wouldn't even hit a foot. You're talking about I moved here from Colorado, purchased my home uh, in that location because of the recreational access that the reservoir provides. The most critical part of my business is people having places to ride their bicycles. So it is a, the next generation of riders, Lock Raven, it's, it's a gem. Yep. And I just wanted to, uh, to make the point that the, the sediment that's coming into the watershed is not coming from the banks around the lake. It's coming from the streams and from the Gunpowder River. We have been in discussions with DPW for over a year now trying to implement a sustainable trail system at Lock Raven. I could go on for one more two minutes, but real fast. How many people are mountain bikers? Please stand. I will give you the example of Fairfax County in Virginia has an ordinance which allows trails to be developed within stream buffers. We've been in business for 95 years with our original location in Johnny O's district of Sundog. So I'd like to say hi to Johnny. Um, anyway, when I'm not working on cars or selling cars, I love to ride my bike. I've lived in two one. Say, for example, the city of Baltimore um, decided that they were going to permit mountain biking in the reservoir. Um, could they do that with or without Bill 22-12? I think that they could allow it. Um, we do appreciate you coming before us. Thank you.